today we shall see complete SAP data services component architecture okay fine yes. so in SAP data services architecture what are the components involved and everything we shall see now fine yeah. so basically in any software composite you will have a database layer and a user interface layer and application layer right fine yeah. similarly for data services also in its architecture you will have user interfaces where users will work from okay so this is complete user interface layer or presentation layer okay fine okay so underneath that the things which you do in this presentation layer those metadata will be stored in some database right fine yes. so those database layer will be present fine and to perform the activities uh, which you or the objects which you designed in user interface sh should be uh, run by an services some of services right so those services will be present in application layer, okay so this is complete service layer okay fine so far as <coughs> here what are the different user interfaces we have is uh, the main user interface which on which BODS developer or data services developer will work is BODS designer okay clear yes fine and other user interfaces is BODS management console okay information steward and CMC okay so these three are web application okay or web based user interfaces and this is GUI based user interface okay BODS okay. design is completely graphical user interface okay fine yeah. Yeah. so this only BODS designer and BODS management console these two comes with BODS okay so information steward and CM, CMC are not installed with BODS but they are involved in the architecture of data services okay fine yes yeah. so yeah. CMC is coming from BA platform okay so that might be either SAP BO or SAP IPS okay so those two are involved from 4.x version of BODS because complete user maintenance and uh, security maintenance and also user authentication these all things should be done from CMC itself CMC is central management console okay so this CMC is the component of SAP business objects or SAP IPS okay those are BA platforms okay so from 4.x version in DS architecture compulsory this will be involved because from 4.x in installation you need a uh, BA platform on the top of BODS okay so before installing BODS compulsory we have to install any BA platform okay that might be SAP BO or that might be SAP IPS because complete user roles and maintenance is authentications and security maintenance is completely done through this component okay fine till 3.0 those things were completely done in BODS management console itself but here so this central management console is the console management console where you will perform all the user maintenance and security maintenance for all the BO tools okay so that might be information steward that might be business objects that that will be BODS designer okay these are all BO tools so for all BO tools they thought of maintaining only centralized security maintenance okay so for that only in CMC complete for all each and every BODS sorry for each and every BO tools user maintenance and security maintenance will be done in CMC itself okay so that's why this is also installed from 4.x version okay and information yeah. steward is the other tool which you have seen in the first class right so information yes, for data is the tool yeah which is completely used for data assessment okay so if you want complete data assessment that means data profiling and data quality management things if you want to perform completely you have to use information steward okay so information steward also will be involved in data services architecture okay clear yeah. yes, and so these are all the user interfaces okay fine so the things which you perform in BODS designer okay management console information steward and CMC okay so these 
activities metadata should be stored in a database right fine yeah so for that we'll have repositories okay here in SAP or uh, in uh, mainly in SAP metadata is called a repository okay so repository what is repository repository is a space in database which helps to store data okay so database law you'll have so many repositories okay clear Yes. So, to store the activities performed in BODS designer and other BODS related tools, we require BODS repositories. Okay. For information steward, yeah. we require information steward repository. For CMC, CMC CMS repository. Okay. Clear? Yes. So, for our BODS, you'll have three types of repositories. You'll have local repository, central repository, and profile repository. Okay. So, these yeah. three repositories speciality and the usage of these three repositories will be known in just 10 to 15 minutes for you okay so that will be very clear for you fine so we uh, actually we don't completely uh, work on the CMC and information steward repository okay so we don't need an, anything much about that but we completely concentrate on BODS repositories okay fine yes clear and then to yeah perform these activities we need services okay any software compulsory services will be there okay even though if you go for C programming or C programming language when you execute it should be compiled and then should be processed and executed right so a compiler yeah. and uh, execute chair and key these all uh, engines these all comes under services okay so allage manaku BODC goda we have services okay these are data services services okay so in services you'll have job server access server and data engines okay clear fine yeah so these are the services and what are the usage of these services you'll be known in just 10 to 15 minutes okay clear yeah yes so this access server is completely uh, what we can say dedicated to work with real-time clients okay fine so to work with online data or real-time data we need access server okay fine so job server and data engine will be completely involved in all the activities okay that might be real-time or batch okay jobs okay complete so to process yes. uh, every activity so these three will be involved but access server is com uh, completely dedicated for real-time clients okay fine yeah. Similarly for data quality you have separate address server okay which is used to process or which is used to uh, what we can say yeah process data quality transformations okay fine mainly for address uh, cleansing transformations okay and dictionaries and directories as I said when you want to work with data quality okay you have to compare the data right you have to compare the source data with backend data right on it okay so those data will be maintained in directories and dictionaries okay so you'll be seeing what is the difference between direct uh, directories and dictionaries in the coming slides okay clear so if anyone asks about the architecture you can completely explain about this okay so these are all the main components involved in the architecture fine so now we shall see clearly each and every component fine yeah okay so first see the main thing is on top of as I said on top of SAP BODS we need a full SAP business objects BA platform or SAP business objects information platform okay these two are BA platforms okay information platform services IPS should be installed for user rights and security management from 4.x version okay fine because data services completely reliance on central management console for authentication and security features okay we clear so my data services repository login avalanna management console login avalanna so then is someone users and their role should be provided only in CMC or oh, that that should be maintained in CMC managed and maintained in CMC okay clear yeah yeah so this you have to remember okay so in many interviews they will ask the difference between 3.x installation and 4.x installation 
okay so till 3.x yeah. we don't need any separate BA platform okay because all user okay. rights and security management will be done in data services management console itself okay so it is complete standalone installation 3.x till 3.x okay you can install complete software in any laptop okay so that might be XP or Windows 7 or Windows Server in any US you can directly completely install data services but from 4.x it was it made completely different okay so to install okay. data services compulsory you should have BA platform okay fine okay so yeah for complete BA platform if you go with complete BA platform you'll get all BO tools okay BO client tools and BO uh, server tools okay fine yeah. Yes. In BO server tools, CMC will be involved. Okay. If you want only BO yeah. server tools, you will go with information platform services. Okay. You don't want any reporting tools. You just want only uh, business intelligence server tools. For that, you will go with SAP IPS. Okay. So IPS is the mini BO which consists of only server tools of BO. Okay. Clear? Got it? Yeah. Fine? Yes. So this is compulsory required. Okay, fine. So this you have to remember. Now we shall see each and every component. The first component you should know about is BODS designer. Okay, fine. Yeah. So BODS designer is the tool or component of data services where BODS developer works. Okay, so it's completely de dedicated for developing the codes. We call it as jobs okay fine fine so yes. it's completely developer or designer tool okay and it it is completely easy to use graphical user interface okay I've already shown in the last yeah. class how the designer looks like okay yes. simply you'll have yeah. graphical blocks simply you have to drag and drop into the workspace connect them and apply your logic okay clear yeah, yeah. fine so in this data services designer Data services developers can design the objects, modify the objects, and test the objects. Okay? Fine? So in with these objects, you can perform mappings, transformations, and controlling logics. Okay? Which helps to move data from source to targets. Okay? Clear? Yes. Yeah. And this is completely desktop tool and client tool. Okay? Fine? Desktop tool is nothing but you can install in your desktop. Okay? Fine? yeah and <coughs> access in the same network okay or if uh, the data services is working in client server okay you can install data yeah. services client tool here and access the designer of your server oh, sorry your client server as well okay clear yeah. sorry with the help of remote desktop right yeah, no need of remote desktop with the help of the uh, remote server IP address. You can directly log in. Okay. The same designer, what is this? Uh, see, with the same D data services designer. Okay. So if yeah. the server is working in here itself, you can use that as desktop tool. Okay. So if the uh, designer is installed in your client server, okay you can connect to the designer by giving that system IP address and port number okay so it can be used as both yes. desktop tool and client tool clear yeah Fine. so this is complete about data services designer okay fine yeah. so it's it's very easy yes, to sir. use GI based tool and it's completely developer and designer tool okay so it's not administrator tool okay administrator never works with data services design okay so here you yeah. can do design modify and test the objects which helps to perform ETL okay yes <laughs> and next thing you have to see see about is data services repositories okay so before seeing data services repositories you have to know what is a repository okay fine so yeah. repository is nothing but it is a space in a database space. okay database server yeah. which stores the metadata of the objects okay fine which helps to store the metadata so what is metadata actually metadata is uh, 